Staying here in Washington, former President Donald Trump has appealed to the Supreme Court to block a lower court's ruling that denied his claim of immunity. Trump says he is immune from prosecution for charges he plotted to overturn the 2020 election laws. Trump's counsel argued that without such a shield, the presidency as we know it would cease to exist. On February 6, a U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals from the District of Columbia rejected Trump's claim of immunity from prosecution. However, Trump insists that a president must have full legal immunity to be able to carry out duties without fear of retribution. However, the, the appeals court said that putting a president beyond the reach of both the judiciary and the legislature would collapse the separation of powers in the United States. The appeal puts Trump's fate in the hands of the Supreme Court just nine months ahead of the elections, where the former president in all likelihood will face President Biden in a rematch of 2020. The nine justices will now decide whether to take up the case or potentially decline, which would automatically allow the lower court's ruling to stand. Trump's trial on interfering in the 2020 election was scheduled to begin in March of this year here in Washington, but has been delayed by the appeal. Last week, Donald Trump said if he does not get immunity, then neither should his, the current White House occupant, Joe Biden. This after a special counsel report opted not to charge Biden with a crime for willfully retaining classified documents when he left the vice presidency in 2017. Here's what Donald Trump had to say. If I don't get immunity, then crooked Joe Biden doesn't get immunity. And all of the things he's done to allow the border invasion, millions and millions of people coming into our country, many from prisons, jails, mental institutions, insane asylums, many terrorists coming into our country, that's really allowing insurrection. I mean, Joe would be ripe for indictment. So you're saying that Trump shouldn't get immunity, but Joe Biden would? I didn't do anything like he did. I ran a great country. Now, Donald Trump is the first major presidential candidate in U.S. history to be running for president while under indictment. He faces 91 counts in four separate criminal cases. The charges include illegally retaining classified and top secret documents, conspiracy to subvert the 2020 election result, and illegal hush money payments to a porn actor in New York. Now, Donald Trump, however, has denied any wrongdoing in any of these cases. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden's reelection efforts are confronting its own headwinds. There are national security concerns over Biden's campaign decision to join TikTok. On Sunday, Biden's reelection campaign used the Super Bowl to kick off its new TikTok account. The campaign aims to reach young voters through the platform, but the chair of the U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee has raised concerns about the decision. TikTok, owned by Chinese tech company ByteDance, is under review due to potential national security risk. Amid this controversy, White House spokesperson John Kirby said nothing has changed about TikTok's use from a national security perspective. The administration still has concerns, uh, security concerns about TikTok, even though the campaign has now joined it. Uh, again, I cannot speak, nor will I speak for the campaign. For the campaign. I, I can't do that or their decisions. Nothing's changed about the national security concerns uh, from the, the NSC's perspective about the use of TikTok on government devices. That policy is still in place. I can only tell you that it's not allowed on government devices. That policy remains the case, and I just can't speak for the campaign or their decisions. I apologize. Thanks. Thanks. In fact, it was Joe Biden who signed legislation in 2022 blocking most federal government devices from even using TikTok. Several lawmakers, Democrats and Republicans, have even called for the app to be banned. They say the Chinese government could access user data or influence what people see on the app. Last month, TikTok, con TikTok told Congress that 170 million Americans now use the video platform, up from 150 million in 2022. The video app is extremely popular in America, especially among young people. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues. 
But above all, we know the player to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.